like a 53 year old ninja. <laughs> Ooh, I was almost ready to give up on the jig, but now I'm not. That just unsafe. God almighty. All right. Better late than never, but we are headed down to Table Rock for stop number two of the Baitworks Solo Series. Here we go. Just got down here to the Port of Kimberling. Got the same campsite as I had last time. Gonna enjoy these next couple days, relax, and uh, catch a few fish. Definitely not fancy, but tasty and filling. I'll probably regret it later. All good, just got dried out. Well, I did not make it on the lake tonight, but I did get camp set up and had a good night anyway. Good morning. Got a good night's sleep last night. It's about 6.30, there must be a tournament taking off somewhere because I'm hearing all kinds of boats. Keeping it pretty simple this morning. <laughs> this will be fun to watch a 53 year old man try not to bust his ass or tear up my truck cover. This ramp is so shallow, though, you can't hardly get into your boat without getting your feet soaking wet. There. Like a 53-year-old ninja. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this little number five shad wrap. Kind of gold crawfish color because I got it tied on from Lake of the Ozarks. There's already another couple boats back in here, and this is something subtle that I can fish behind other people with and have some confidence in. Yeah, that's the second bed I've seen back here. There's another one about halfway to that stump. Nothing on them yet, but there's a few of them thinking about it. About time.
keeper. But at least it's finally a fish. Oh yeah, 16. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a better one. That's two right here. He's going out deep. There's a boat coming around the corner here. This feels like a decent one. Behind where the other guys were. That is a good one. All right, all right, shatter up, buddy. Be buddies today too. Yeah, no keeper. Not all the way back yet. Solid keeper. Okay, dude, they're here. Beauty. That's going to be real fun to try and fish in this jet boat. But if they're like that, I'll sure take them. But there's already two other boats on the other piers, so somebody else may be figuring it out too. Okay, it is time to take a break and regroup. That wind out there on the main lake is blowing hard, and this little jet boat does not like it. So I've got three keepers today. Two on the shad wrap uh, on that one stretch of bank, and then I left. Didn't find anything else back in that general area. And then, actually, good news I did catch one good one on the jerk bait off the bridge piers <laughs> that everybody knows about. And there's two other boats on the other piers there, too. So, and it was a treat trying to keep that boat steady and fish those things in the wind, too, with this little jet. So, and that's about it. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to run very far tomorrow with that wind both like it is and it's supposed to. So I just won't be able to get back. I've already got a part of my trolling motor that's come off and i got to figure out how to fix here. 
get it back together. So I'm going to take a little break, get a bite to eat, and just kind of regroup, try to make a game plan for something fairly close within you know a mile or so of uh, a hoys because I don't think I'm going to be able to run tomorrow very far at all. Shouldn't have set the hook on that, but it felt good. I was almost ready to give up on the jig, but now I'm not again. That's a beauty. That is, that's just unsafe. 
God Almighty, just getting from Ahoy's around the corner to Port Kimberley was the slowest aisle I could possibly get. Luckily, nothing broke. Son of a bitch. That's just dangerous in this jet boat. All right, quite an interesting practice day. Um, the winds out there were brutal today. 19, 20 mile an hour, pretty steady, white caps, three and four foot rollers. I really had no business being out there in that jet boat, to be honest. Um, I stayed real close to Ahoy's. Even just getting back was a little sketchy, so. But I made it safely. I'm gonna be smart tomorrow. I may not even leave Fisher Creek. If it's like this tomorrow, I'm not gonna do anything stupid and, and uh, risk getting hurt or tearing up the boat. So I did junk fish a limit today. Um, I don't know, 13, 14 pounds. So it's kind of been my story on Table Rock Lake. I'll see if I can't figure out what to do tomorrow. But got some jerk baits tied on, jigs and crank baits, you know, your traditional stuff. So I'm gonna junk fish again tomorrow where the wind lets me go and see if I can't grind out a limit. Regardless, uh, I'm gonna be smart, I'm gonna be safe. Ain't no tournament worth getting hurt in, so. I got all my gear charging up now, the cameras, the uh, batteries, the microphones, everything's charging up overnight. I'll get up at four, break down the tent, uh, get everything loaded up. Takeoff is at 6.30. I am boat number 40 with a weigh-in at 310. So we will see what we can come up with tomorrow. Hey, if you like this video, check out our Bass Derby and Wildlife Habitat playlists for more great content. For fast and easy outdoor cooking recipes, check out our YouTube shorts playlist. And finally, shout out to all the conservation professionals who make these outdoor adventures possible. Protect, conserve, and connect. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Thanks for watching, everybody.